Oh. Hey everyone, push this out the way. One day I'm going to be extraordinary professional. One day. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Hey Drita, hey everyone. Yeah, I've been kind of quiet because I've been making these kits. Oh, I'm so busy. I've been making all these kits, so I've been kind of quiet. How's everyone doing? I'm going to move this aside for now. Need organization. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I love how natural you are. Do you? Thank you. They look natural. Yeah. Uh, that means I got to wear a lot of makeup tomorrow. <laughs> I've just been busy. Hugs, Tracy. I love your attitude. Thank you, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. Did you read Quincy Jones? No, no, no. Repeat that. I missed it. Uh, hi, Tracy, received my love kit yet. Do you know when it should be here? Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow. If you're watching, tomorrow. Hi, you look great. Thank you. You was on it with my reading. Thank you, lovely. You're taking from the heart. Yes. Your love oil is available now. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to ship. I'll have two more shipments. Today's Wednesday. I might have three more. I might have three more shipments. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Because we want it here by we want it here by Tuesday because that's the live feed. But it can be done Tuesday night, Wednesday, the 14th, up until the 15th at 107 p.m. So um, and some people that I shipped this past Saturday, they got theirs on Monday. They said two days, so I guess for some two days and for others, uh, one day. Oh, my God, did you interview? Twitter is going crazy. Psychic review, please. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. I didn't know Quincy did something. All right, what was the interview on? He's also said, hi, Tracy. Hi, Oni Kiana. Hi. Hello. Is that Japanese or Chinese? Hi, KZG. He spilled the tea on who? On who? What did Quincy say? I've been so busy. I haven't, like, not even turned my TV on. I fuck. Who? 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 The daughter? Or the mother? The daughter? I think Quincy's losing his mind. Ivana the mother or Ivanka? The daughter? The daughter? He dated the daughter? Oh, did he? Oh, no. Is he getting ready to die? Is that why he's confessing? Is he dying soon? What is that about? Hi, KZG. How are you? No, I'm not picking up vibes because I'm, I can't do this right now. I'm not going to do Quincy Jones. I'll do him first thing in the morning. He's not mad. He's loose-lipped old man. Yeah, die, you know, old man. Yeah. You know old men. He said Michael stole music. Ah, okay, you want me to pick up on something? I believe that. I believe Michael stole music. You know why? You know why? Because... Michael had an underspirit. He was very much like his father. Everyone was like, oh, Michael's father, Michael's father. Apples don't fall far from the tree. He brought all the Beatles, what is it? Not the albums, the rights. He brought all the music rights. He's the one that sold the Beatles song to Nike. When Paul McCartney went to him and said, give me my music, Michael laughed and would refuse to give it to him. So, I believe Michael may have stole music. I believe that. I'm gonna go with that. That's not a lot. Thank you, that is what they do in the music industry. Michael's like Beyonce, very calculated. Oh, Virgo. Oh yes, oh yes. Plus he had a little bit of girly energy. I'm not saying he was gay, I'm saying he had girly energy. Two different things. We know a lot of men with girly energy. The interview is juicy, lovers. 
Tracy, I read online, Christy to offer himself to Tupac. Ah. Again, offered himself in what kind of way? Offered himself in what kind of way? Remember, oh my God. Remember, Tupac was hanging out with that dude, whatever that dude is, whatever his name is, Shook. And there were just things that might have been done in those studios if you wanted a record deal. Hip Hop Bro is just terrible. Yeah, Shook Knight, yeah. He said, Marlon Brando and Richard Pryor were lovers. Richard's wife said it was true. I believe it. Hollywood is very weird. He said, take me and I'll use, and I'll let you use my daughter. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that, you know, coveting of men in the hip-hop business. And that's men coveting men. You know, if hip hop decides to talk, Wendy's William book will become like she'll get vindicated. She'll be like, I said it first. Well, I don't care if his daughter is anything. That I'm never going to talk about. I could care less. You're allowed to be bi, gay, trans. Who cares? But if, if she is trans, then that means that. I got to look at this video. All right, getting off of him. I'm not going to make this video about Quincy Jones. I'll look at it, and sometimes I'll look at the video, and then I'll get inspired as to what he didn't say, and I'll ask that question, you know? Like, you guys don't know what I do. I'm like a mastermind. I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, that's the question. That's the question. It's an article on Vulture. Do I have to read it or can I look at it? I don't read anymore. It was a written interview. Oh, I'll read. Yep, Die the Queen. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Without saying too much, yes. Oh, interesting. He didn't want to talk about Bill Cosby. Why? Because they're in the same age bracket and he knows how disgusting Bill Cosby is and he knows his case is coming up so he doesn't want to get pulled into the case. Really, Quincy? Really? Huh. You know a lot about Bill Cosby, Quincy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He might have an agreement with the Clintons to not divulge anything. He, and he might generally just like them. You know, when you really like somebody, you'll never let a secret out. Like, ah, to go to my grave. All right, guys. Thank you. I've been out of the loop. Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. Somebody just retweeted that Quincy said he's... Quincy said he saw James Brown, who, by the way, y'all... See, I can't tell y'all most of what I'm feeling... But you have to trust me when I go through the, I never liked James Brown. Ever. I never liked that greasy head dude. Ever. I didn't like the way he danced. And by the way, Michael stole music. Michael stole James Brown dancing. What, are you kidding me? That's Michael. All right? But I did not like James Brown. I did not like his music. I did not like um, his greasy hair. He was disgusting to me. And now I'm finding out he might have murdered a swan. Hell, no wonder I didn't like him. But I was too young, and everybody, when you're in a household full of people, and everybody's doing all of this James Brown in your house, and you're sitting there looking at because you know, remember, I'm the weird kid, you're sitting there looking at them like, oh, you guys are disgusting too. <laughs> like, what kind of family was I born into? Now we see. Hmm. But I didn't do videos back then. Hi, God chosen lady. Hi. Ah, they're all wife beaters. That, that's not the thing I would get mad about. That's not the thing. Murdering a swan with your bare hands? That's evil. That is evil. Like the animal. Yeah. Yeah. That's what someone just tweeted. So now you guys got me going crazy here. All right. I can't stand it. I'm almost ready to stop this video. Let's stop talking about this dude. This is not fair. We are talking about love. I don't care. No more. No more this Quincy Jones. No more. I'm done with him. 
I want to see if he is, is he confessing because he's going to die soon? Maybe that should be the video. What is he confessing about? That's disgusting. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm changing my hair. My hairdresser doesn't want me to have dreads anymore. Kind of, sort of. And then I, I like to fight her. I'm like, no, I'm going to have dreads. I don't care. And then today I text her and I was like, maybe I don't want dreads for a while. And then she's having a baby and she won't be back until May. So I have to figure a lot of things out. I just feel like I want my own hair to breathe for a while. Let me style you. Are you a hairstylist? What state are you in? I feel like I want my own hair to breathe. I just want my hair. But I get sick of my hair really quick. She is worried it's damaging her hair. Yeah. Oh, thank you. She's worried that it's damaging my hair. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But I don't listen to her. And then, and then she does what she wants. So I'm at the point where I'm giving her comp launch over my head. And I will not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. It just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. No more Quincy. Hi, Cynthia from Michigan. Hi. No more Quincy. Do not, not one more person text me about this dude. No more. Evil does not belong here. <laughs> no evil. Listen to me. We're going to talk about love, okay? Hello, Miss Tracy Brown from Brooklyn, New York. Hi, Melissa. Hey, Miko. I can laugh out loud. Yeah. No, these dreads get um, recycled every six weeks. Each time they're brand new dreads. They, they, they don't stay that long. I don't keep my, please God, no. I, do you guys know me? Do you know how vain I am? <laughs> what? I've had these dreads since June. Do I look like that type? No, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they crochet. Let me see. Does that look crochet? I don't know. I don't know. I just know they're called Mally Locks. Mally Locks. Oh, it, oh, girl, if your lunar eclipse candle is still burning, we're about to go into the solar eclipse candle. Leo Diva. Oh, yes, Trauma. Oh, yes. Crochet breaks my hair off. Oh, it does. It does, especially for some, for certain types of hair. Don't put it in your hair. The lunar eclipse was powerful, wasn't it? Oh, my God. We started a movement. Let's talk about love. And I'm going to talk about the kit that I'm making. The reason why I decided to do the kit was because you guys don't have these products. Because love is about flowers for the most part, right? I'm not looking at the, 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 the thing anymore. Love is about flowers. So, you guys don't have this right now. But because it's my world, I know where to get it. This is Jasmine. Jasmine is about love. I should have labeled it. Uh, this is hibiscus. Hibiscus is about love. The reason why I'm telling you, because you want to get the products, get the products. It's up to you. I could care less, but I put my foot in it. I'm adding um, hibiscus, uh, jasmine, frankincense is the holy herb, and or myrrh. It's and or one holy herb. But I also got mustard seed, not ground mustard seed, mustard seed itself. And this one is a mixed bag of frankincense and myrrh. So one holy herb. I'm adding glitter, 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 glitter. You're getting all of this. You're getting parchment paper. Parchment paper. This is magical paper. You want your intentions, you write it down. Where's my pen? You write it down on parchment paper. So instead of talking about it, I'm sending it to you. Dear God. Dear God. Oh, this is a good pen. I'm going to use this pen. Dear God, February 13th, guys, live feed, live feeds every February 13th at 12 noon this time, 12 noon. I'm giving you a dropper. Why am I giving you a dropper? Because, I don't put this on the floor. I'm giving you a dropper because I'm giving you an herb. Herb. This herb will have my rose oil. This is my rose oil. This is my mixture. <sighs> so this and this go together. <laughs> um, it comes 
in a bag, one of these two bags, one or, don't choose. It comes in one of the two bags, and it comes in this lovely box. And, and, oh, and then everything just fits inside like this. All right. I put it back. And that's it. Now, for all of you who don't need love, okay, uh, oh, before we talk about that, I'm not even going big this time. You know why I'm not going big? I went big for money. Because that you want to, you want the universe, you want universal money love, right? So I went big for money. For love, I'm not going big, all right? Because I want it streamlined to me. I'm choosing a nice little cute pink candle. This one actually says Rose Love on it. Actually says Rose Love. And look at this cute little lemon candle. Lemon, citrus, orange. These are all love quantities, quantity, qualities, right? So this one says Sicilian lemon. Perfect for love. And I really like the color yellow for love because it has lemon. Uh, for those of you that need your own herbs, if you don't want to buy the kit, I could care less. Get some strawberries. Where are my strawberries? Oh, I can't really put my strawberries. Oh. Get some strawberries. Oh, Myra. Mm, decline. Get some strawberries. Get some strawberries. Take off the top. You don't have to eat the strawberries for those of you who are allergic to strawberries, but you need to leave. I like strawberries. It's Valentine's Day, so strawberries are in abundance. Dry them out in the open. Crush them up. Add them to your herbs. And if this is all you can get, don't worry about it. I like three herbs, but if all you can get is some strawberry leaves, just as good. Crush it, ground it, crush it. Remember to put it in your left hand, but we'll talk about it. And then you're going to add it to your candle. The products are already available to you. So if that doesn't work, because I like for you to have three herbs, then you're going to get some lemon peel. Remember, lemon and orange is for love. So how about if we get some lemon peel? Have fun, guys. It's cooking. It's changing your life. Like, you enact your own change. I'm trying to teach you all. You ain't got to buy my kit. I don't care. I just want everyone to change the quality of the type of people that they're getting. But in order for that to happen, you have to enact change. You have to do something different, right? So, remember you don't need a lot. That's all that came out, but that's okay. Let it dry out with your strawberry leaves, all right? Put it in a bowl, by the way. Here's my little bowl. Put it in a bowl. So go like this with your strawberry peel inside and let it all dry out at the same time. You're gonna take your strawberry, remember you don't need a lot, and you're gonna sprinkle it inside your candle. So now you got two uh, quali quant quantities of uh, products that you can buy yourself. You can do this yourself, no big deal. Um, and we're done. We're done. But if you purchase it from me, you get um, three herbs plus a holy herb plus parchment paper plus a dropper. What the hell happened to the dropper? Plus a dropper plus oil. Oh, plus a dropper plus oil. Oil. All nicely packaged. That's what you get. Period. Okay. Okay. Now, again, a little votive will do just fine. 
again, for some reason, I feel like small is big because solar is expansive. I don't think you need to go big to go to get what you want. What's most important is what you're putting down on this paper. Um, the, the Love Solar Energy Shifting Candle Day, which is February 13th. It's a solar eclipse. All right. What's most important was you're going to put down on parchment paper. What type of man are you looking for? What do you want? Oh, it's not a crazy question. Uh, I, you know, there's two things you can do, but, you know, it's up to you. You can throw it away with the candle. Not that big of a deal. Or you could burn it. Not that big of a deal. I believe in fire safety, so just be safe with fire. Is everyone good about the love? Everyone's good about the love? How about if you have someone? If you have someone and you're happy, I, I wouldn't do love unless you want loving qualities for yourself. If you're at a job where people don't love you, do it on you. Do it and say, like I'm at a church where people don't love me. So you might, well, some people, actually some people, some people, people I don't care about, they don't love me. I have many, many people that love me at that church. I'm actually very blessed. But I would probably do a candle to get universal love, you know? But I'm using a couple of candles. So this one might be for universal love, my rose love. And this one might be to get the quality of the type of man that I'm going to be looking for. And I would write all of that on, on my paper. I would be like, dear God, this is the man that I'm looking for. This is the type of man that I'm looking for. And in addition to that, God, can members at the church receive me well? They ain't got to love me. Can they receive me well? Okay. Are you guys good? Let me know what you're thinking real quick before I go into money. Are you guys good? So you can use three herbs from the list you shared on your videos. Not for love. For love, I'm trying to tell you what you can get because it's a flower essence. Love is about flowers and flowers are not growing in the winter. So I'm trying to tell you to get hibiscus, get lemon, get uh, strawberry leaf. Those are the three that you can choose. Orange, lemon, hibiscus. Okay? Is everyone clear? Are you going to do love horoscopes for February? No. Wait. I don't know. Let me get through the solar eclipse first, and then I'll, I'll figure it out. I won't say no. I want to do money again. Okay. Are we clear about love? Let's be clear. Are we clear about love? So bergamot candle is good for this one. Yes, it's good, because bergamot is also good for love. It's a dual action uh Bergamot is dual action, love and money. Hibiscus is Jamaica and Spanish. Is it really? It's one of my favorite uh, flowers. I love hibiscus. Are you guys good? Yes, check. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're going to move on to money. Guys, you guys ask a lot of questions because nobody listens. Look back at the video. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. I can check the video. Check the damn video. Basil. Cinnamon. My two favorites, basil and cinnamon. Cloves. Uh, nutmeg. Thyme. Allspice. Ginger. And mustard seed. Choose three from this category for money. Do you understand? Three from this category for money. Got it? Got it? Is everybody clear? This is for money. Okay? For those of you that have an online business, it's okay to use yellow because yellow is about creativity. For those of you that are looking for money, green is a great color. All right. Um, for those of you that, you know, online means international money too. Red is the perfect color because you're not defining just one location. You're expanding the passion. All right. For something very specific. 
If it's about a job, I would use a brown candle. Okay? If it's about a home or real estate, I would use a brown candle. All right? What else is there? Hmm. I think that's it. I think you guys might be good. Or you could purchase the kit for $25. Just email me at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. This is for money, money, money. For those of you that need love change, all right, you change and a really good man will show up. I promise you. All right, because this is a soul eclipse, I'm totally in agreement with two red, one for money, one for love. I brought a brown candle after we talked, beloved Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Um... So do money again, if you want to. I believe in a power of three. Okay? The last money candle you actually did on a full moon. That's expansion. This is a new moon, which is why we're doing love and solar. For all those that are single, you want a good new man to come into your life. Good, new, perfect for you. But I believe in a power of three. So I would say you did it for full, you did it for the new moon. Yes, that's two or three. You're going to do it one more time next month in the full of new moon. You choose. Callie subs. Hi, honey. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> brown is a grounding candle. When you think of brown, you think of trees rooted in the ground. The ground is everything, guys. The ground is expansive. It's all over. Think what think the way God thinks. Okay. Um anything else? Can we do both love and money? Yes, yes, yes. You can always do two positive. You can't do a negative and a positive. It has to be if you do it has to be two positive, three positives. Yes. I got road open. Oh good girl. All colors are good. Callie subs. You guys, if you don't know about it, it's called the chakra candle that has all the colors in it. And what you're doing is clearing away all your chakra block blockers. So that's a really good one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, only Cherise. Sh uh, starting to get confused. I owe two free readings, so I'm starting to get confused. Thank you. I need to go out and buy new candles tomorrow. Please do, Miss Virgo. Please. God loves me. Both you don't want to get too specific with intentions because you close things off. That's kind of true, but kind of not true. I was just talking to someone about that today. If you say, I need him to be handsome, that's too... Uh, if you say, I need him to be handsome, that's too specific. Okay? Because spirit doesn't understand all of that. That's not what spirit would even want you to look at. But if you say, I want him to have a good heart toward me. I want him to be a good man. Me, personally, I need my man to go to church. I don't want to fight my man. I don't want to get up on Sundays and he's not coming to church with me. Unless he's working at a job, which happened to me where I could not go for a few years to church. But I want my man supported. So I want him somehow to fit church in. That's mandated. That's what I'm going to put on my list. That's a list. I want my man that's meant for me to want to attend church with me. That's a deal breaker for me, guys. It's a deal breaker. Church is everything to me, and I won't compromise on that. But that's just me. What's your deal breaker? What do you need? If you need him to be, if you need him to have red hair, good luck with that. You can put it down. 
Don't get you a redhead man that'll walk all over you. Be careful. It's time of us to move forward. We've slowly been changing, or maybe we're both affected by the signs. Just ask for your intended love to come to you. Ah, oh, S. Roche, that is gorgeous. I'm going to repeat that, S. Roche. Just ask for your intended love to come to you. Ah, oh, write that down, people. Write it down. Thank you, S. Roche. You're gifted. Thank you. She's She's got a gift, guys. You got a gift, S. Roche. Maybe you need a uh, YouTube channel. You're gifted. I will write down that I want to be attracted to him. Okay, I'll take it. I think that's a good one. I want my intended love to find me. Yes, you have to be available. He could find you. And if you're crying over Mr. Sloppy over here, what does it matter? You see how you guys are kind of missing the boat here? He can find you and walk right up to you. Knock, knock, and you'll be like, what is the... He's got to go. He's going to go. <laughs> Drita. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we are our own worst enemies. You ain't lying. I know. I know. I do this for a living. I know. <laughs> Ask for him to love you and only has eyes for you. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Hold on a second. Who said that? Only Cherise. Ask for me, God, that he loves me and only has eyes on me, for me. I don't know which one. Write that down. <laughs> I'm like, girl, girl. Who said that? I think that was only Cherise. Ask, ask that he loves you and only has eyes for you. Girls, come on now. You know that's a problem out there. You know, I like how everyone's being, God, you guys are really helping. Be careful how you state it, though. You don't want a negative. You say you want a faithful, faithful man. If you say, I don't want him to cheat, you're drawing that energy in regardless. So, but if you say, I want a faithful man, that's a given. Faithful man, if you want to be more specific, faithful man to me. Because he could be faithful. He could be faithful to his job. He could be faithful to his money. Hmm. See? Can't leave the book open. Oh, thank you, pretty doll baby. Thank you. Faithful. Oh, my God. I love you, only Cherise. Uh, you guys, you better be writing this down. Faithful, loyal, honest man for me. Oh, oh you guys are amazing. Faithful body. Kelly subs. You guys better be writing this down. Faithful. Body, mind, uh, and soul. You get the soul of a man, you are loved. Trust me, that's what you're looking for. Could we include things like we want him to be financially stable? Hell yes! Yes! Can he be financially stable? Have a good job? Um, I would put goes to work every day, goes to work, um, has employment, you know, some, some people don't mind, you know, having a man that doesn't have financial qualifications. Okay. Um, I'm not that girl. I'm. Listen, I, nope, you ain't got to be an engineer, but you have to be a faithful worker to your job. Oh, yes. You have to be a faithful worker to want to get, thank you for all those super hearts. 
you have to be a faithful worker to get up and want to make sure I'm secure that rent is going to be paid, that you get to take me out to dinner. I'm going to do that for you. So if I'm going to do that for you, I want the same thing that I'm offering in return. A family man, you know, a family man, yes. Okay, the reason why we're doing it on the 13th, it's a really good question. You guys need to get this. It's called Pocket Astrologer. There's a Pacific and an Eastern. This is Pacific. And there's the solar eclipse will fall on... The solar eclipse will fall on February 15th. I just like to write things down. February 15th at 1.05 p.m. The reason why I'm doing it on the 13th is because we move into the sign Aquarius. at 7 11 a.m. I'm doing my video at 12 noon okay and we're gonna do it simultaneous so this is a worldwide event Aquarius is about communication remember you're looking for that man that will communicate with you that will come up to you that you may have to communicate with them the Aquarian energy is the energy that will let you do that. They're communicators, all right? Their sign, people like to call it the, the water bearer, that wiggly sign. I like to call it uh, sound waves, okay? So it's that sound waves that connects energetically to the right person, all right? Um, the reason why I'm doing it on the 13th is because you guys get enough wiggle room so that if you don't catch it at 12 noon on the live feed, you have all day on the 13th, all day on the 14th, and up to 1.05 p.m. on the 15th if you're on the Pacific Coast. If you're on the East Coast, remember I'm going that far ahead, you're three hours ahead. So Aquarian will come in 7, 8, 9, 10 at 10, 11. A.M. And that's why I'm doing it at 12 noon, because then I hit Eastern is clear. Everyone, you know, mountain, everybody's clear. So 10, 11 a.m. And right up until so all day after 10, 11 on the 13th, all day on the 14th. So those of you that's got Valentine's dates, you can come back afterwards. You can still do it. And then on the 15th, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, up to four oh five. PM for Easton. Everybody else, Central and Mountain, you all go in between these time frames. So for Mountain, it's 811, and for Central, it's 911. It's in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius are about communication. If you're gonna do money, this is the perfect time to do money. Because this is about communicating what you need to do. If anybody wants to go into the entertainment business, into broadcasting, if anybody's looking for a deal to sell, this is all about money. And you do your money magic. Guys, I'm not crazy. To be honest with you, I'm doing both. <laughs> do I look crazy? No. No, I'm a businesswoman first. So, of course, I'm going to light a money candle. <laughs> Don't forget your peppermint, olive oil, basil, oil for your money candles. And for those of you that want to buy your own products, because I'm not trying to stiff you, this stuff is available to you. You just need to be educated on it. Get vanilla extract, but it has to be pure vanilla. Imitation vanilla means you will bring in a fake guy. Vanilla's for love. The mixture, oil, basil, olive oil. This is for money. And look, I still have a lot left over. 
All right, guys, could we include the environment where we would like to meet the new love, like store work? Absolutely not. That's being too specific. That's what, who said that? Who said, uh, uh, pretty dog, well, you're the one that said that? Be too specific, and you're going to spend your whole time in school not concentrating and being like, <sighs> that's not what shifting, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am, meaning what? That's not what shifting means. Shift, connect, connect, connect. God loves me. God loves me said it. Shifting means the willingness to change. Do not be specific about the location. Do not do love magic on a person. Please. You will get what you want and you will regret it. Open yourself up to the qualities that you're looking for on this paper. Be open. Trust God in the process. And I have to tell you, have faith the side of a mustard seed. Faith is the key. Trust God and then boom, let it go. Let it go. Watch what happens if you just let go. Watch what happens. It'll be amazing. Isn't doing love magic on a person going against the free will? Yes, that's why we're not doing. Listen, so I'm trying to convince everyone. Don't do it on someone. <laughs> trying to convince them. I never wanted to teach this because I know there's some crazy folks out there that's like, I'm going to put this mixture together and he is going to do what I say. Good luck with that. That's not my problem anymore. I'm teaching from a great place of honesty and authenticity. And I'm trying to express to you, have no person in mind. All right. And if anything, a lot of you need self-love. A lot of you need love to be put inside of you. I would say a lot of you just do it on yourself. Change yourself. Shift yourself. Everyone that did these candles, um, they sent me pictures. By the way, send me pictures. They did these pictures, and someone said to me, because it was such a universal event, that as collectively, we were changing universally. I never really thought about that, like the masses. Send me pictures. Send me t pictures on Facebook. Send me pictures on Twitter. Um... I guess you can't send me pictures on on Instagram, but I wish you could. Or just find Tracy Brown Live on Twitter and send me the picture um, to Twitter. It's going to be so much fun. With the hashtag, with the hashtag love magic. Simple. Love magic. Simple. Hashtag love magic. <laughs> no, pretty doll baby, you don't. You, you, if you... Do magic on a person, you will actually get the opposite effect. You will actually get a very ugly person. I promise you. Hashtag love magic. Hashtag love magic. Love enchantment. That is beautiful. Hashtag. Oh, I love that. Love enchantment. That's it. Hashtag love enchantment. I hope this comes true. I haven't been in a real relationship in years. I, have, I haven't been looking for anyone. Now's the time to start looking. I know, Tracy, you need moderators. Okay. Ugh, there's nobody to help me. It's, I'm all by myself here trying to change the world. I'm changing the world one candle at a time, but I have nobody to help me. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Only Cherise, are you on today? Only Cherise, do you have a periscope? Only Cherise, do you have a periscope? When is this event? Sweet Peaks, February 13th, 12 noon. Email me for your love magic kit, psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. February 13th, February 13th, 12 noon. Oh, Only Cherise, no. Do you need one? Do you need to start one? We'll support you. Thank you for the super heart. Thank you so much. All right, guys, let's get this party started. Let's get this love shifting movement started. What about the solar eclipse on the 15th? Or is it the 16th? Oh my God, Crystal, did you just come in? We're doing it on the 13th, Crystal. The 13th, because it's Aquarian energy and I'm giving everyone enough time to look at the videos 
and you have to do it before the solar eclipse if possible and so we're doing it on the 13th all day 14th all day up until the 15th which is the solar eclipse event communication yes Aquarians are all about communication love thank you for the purple hearts hearts please hearts please hearts please oh, Jesus Christ I think I have a reading I better go I think I have a reading guys now I remember there's another eclipse yes pretty doll baby on yes we're gonna do this love shifting uh, candle because of a solar eclipse new moon solar eclipse three days before its peak and three days after Ugh, who said that again is that only Sharice what is your uh, only Sharice um, email me psychic Tracy Brown at yahoo.com I've been talking about love a lot at all markets productions yeah what time are you done with readings tonight? I think this is my last one for tonight. Just email me and I'll set up the appointments in the morning. Okay? Not, no, that was not me that time. Oh, no, I don't know who said it. I'm looking, Tracy, you look tired. No, I'm not tired. Not tired, tired. I think my car's in the shop. There are just things going on. My car's in the shop. And but it's regular maintenance. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just regular maintenance. But I have to run it over there. And I don't think I'm tired. I just think that I'm trying to get all of this done. And I think it's taking my energy. Do you know what I mean? But let me tell you something. You know what I do? The first thing I do is get some sleep. When I get off for of readings for the day, I eat. I take my bath. I get in my bed. I'm in bed at 9 o'clock because all of this is energy, guys. Even teaching you guys, it's energy. So in order for me to be healthy, sleep is mandated. Y'all got to learn to have some sleep in your lives. Sleep and the gift of calm is the two best things you can give yourself. All right, I better stop talking. I think I have a reading right now. So I better get to that reading so I can get to my evening. Real Housewives of Atlanta is on tonight, guys. Is it? Or I forget. It's going from the 13th to the 15th. Thank you, Crystal. Now you're on board. Thank you, Crystal. You ain't lying. I need more sleep. Pretty doll baby. Give yourself the gift of sleep. It's it, it's an amazing feeling. It took me a while, too. Remember, I'm mature, guys. So it took me a while to understand sleep is my best friend. My bed is my best friend. All right. Thank you for the class. We love it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Class 101. <laughs> Treat it. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn it. Oh, that was it. Oh. And the worst. Sorry, guys. Oh, what is that? What is that?